ladies and gents, welcome to FZTV, something a little bit different on the Fan Zone podcast channel. So here we are on the way to the Tough Sheet Community Stadium, the Reebok, for Bolton Wanderers versus Huddersfield Town in Skybet League One. Just finished the uh, last of my morning errands before setting off to the game today. A little bit hope rather than expectation for the first time in a long time when it comes to a home game match day content we know you all love it uh we did a little vlog against wembley and people seem to enjoy it so we're going to experiment with some match day stuff we need to improve don't we really and it has to start today a little pre-match prediction on the pod on thursday i think i said one nil i feel a bit better today. i'm gonna go two nil Come on, I've just got to the ground. I said on the preview show that I think we're going to win 3-0. Now that I'm actually here and it's Saturday, I'm not feeling quite as confident. Here we go. Bolton Wanderers versus Huddersfield Town. Come on, you whites. Just we're queuing the up. Queue, we're in the yeah. queue. We're in the queue. Fans on, queuing up we for the fans on. We have been in and then came out and then now we need to queue again. Congratulations to Mark and Laura for winning shirts. Thanks for donating and subscribing. Congratulations Legend. to Andrew. Remember the shirts. Yeah, well done. Just like a turnaround. <laughs> yeah. I'm with Gary, Tom, and Sam. They're going to give us our, our their prediction. Um, one nil win to the Wanderers. I'll go two one and uh, Charles and Collins score. Two one Charles and Collins. Well, oh, Gas, what are you saying? Three one Wanderers. Nice. Half time and we're losing one nil. Very dejected Bolton Wanderers fan base at the minute. It's been very, very poor. Very poor. Exodus. Judging by the fans' reaction, they're not happy, and I think it's time. There's a lot to be said about the lack of urgency in this team. They don't look like they want to make a difference. Jay Matete, the only player with something to prove, looks like the only one looking to make any sort of difference. As for the rest of them, it looks like they've given up already. Huddersfield fans and Wanderers fans in unison are getting sacked from the hall. Just walking out of the ground, I mean. What do you say about that? Bolton nil. Huddersfield four. One of the things that Ian Everett said before this game started, in reference to his record as Bolton Wanderers manager, was that he knows where he picked this club up and he knows where it is now. My question is, where is he going to drop it off? Probably. A mutual thing that he leaves now, I reckon. He often can take a defeat when it's tight 2 1 or a 1 0 after a tight encounter, but. Because that today was inexcusable. There is no amount of fatigue, no amount of lack of time that can be attributed to a performance like that. And at full time, you look like a shell. Straight down the tunnel. I think time might be up for Ian Ever at Bolton Wanderers. It's a real shame because I think obviously what he's offered us and what he's given us in terms of the brand of football and the memories and everything else. 
Um, he's been, he's been great for us, but immediate reaction after that, I think his time's up. Yeah, this is not how we wanted our first vlog to go, but yeah, that was pretty bad. But yeah, it does feel like um, when you lose a large majority of the fans like they have done, I'm not gone yet, but when you lose the large majority of the fans like he has done now, it's very hard to win them back. If they feel it's the end of the road, then it's the end of the road and we've got to see what happens next. But yeah, whatever happens, I'll be there next week.